Hello everyone, it's so late. My kids、um, went back to school from today, so I am going to be taping in the morning when my kids are at school rather than doing it in the evening. Because that's what I had to do when my kids were at home with me. And I survived the first day back at school morning routine. Oh my gosh, I sure did. And we were not late at all to both high school and the primary school. So that was a really great achievement. So today I want to be layering flowers with you guys. So, you guys know that recently I received a lovely mail from my friend all the way in Iceland, and she sent me the Graphic 45 flower layering die set that comes with the、um, really long tag and the ATC size tag die. I love that tag die set so very much, and I had to play with it. I just couldn't let it sit there. I had to play with it. So, what I did was I went through all my scrap bits of paper, grabbed all the little size paper bits that I had that would cover the flower size.、Um, and then I just kept on die cutting and die cutting. Now, I wasn't focusing on The pattern of the paper, I wasn't focusing on particular colors of the paper. I just wanted it to be a stress free die cutting session. So I just grabbed any pieces of little pieces of scrap paper and I just kept on die cutting and die cutting. So then I ended up having all of these flower die cuts. I have briefly、um, layered them on top of each other after I curled them. So, after cutting them, what I did was using one of this, it doesn't have to be this tool, but I just use it because I have it.、Um, anything will do, like pencil will do as well. Anything that will help you curl the petals. So, this is what you do you just grab the petal and curl. You just, if you don't want to do this, you can just. Use your fingers and do this too. You know? It's really easy. And then it just gives it a bit of dimension. And I really love that look. See how it gives you that、um, 3D look? I love how that is. So I have so much on my table, and I need to start gluing them. And I'm going to do it in front of you guys. I am also going to be using. This Crafters Square Sparkle Yarn that my friend Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Thing has sent to me. Remember, she sent me six different colors of these, and I have so much that I'm gonna, you know, just keep on having fun using them. I am also going to be using this iridescent flat back pearl pieces and this faceted iridescent piece here. I love looking at this color, isn't that just dreamy? And also, I may be using this rose cabochon pieces that I recently got from BB Craft. And also, I might be using some foam square tapes, little tiny ones, to layer between the flowers, and my glue gun. So, I'm gonna start gluing. Now, this one I started doing already. This one was the,、uh, the biggest petal, and then in between the middle one and that one, I have layered this white, this one, this white sparkle yarn. So I started doing that. And so in the middle of this, I need to add some bling. So I'm gonna just glue the middle, and then I might add a, just a simple. Flat back iridescent pearl. And then I have a beautiful flower. See how this is actually a flamingo pattern paper from one of the summer collection? I think it was the Echo Park one. And I had a piece of、um, flamingo paper left and I just cut it because it's nice and pink. So that one's done. And then I might work with this one. So this one, I'm going to layer some pink sparkle yarn. 
So this is brand new, so I'm going to rip the paper bit off and I need to find the beginning. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around two of my fingers like this a couple times and then just cut it off. Okay. And then make a circle. See, going around my fingers helps me get it into a circle shape. It doesn't have to be in a circular shape, but it makes it much easier for me. So I'm gonna put some glue in the middle, and then I'm just gonna layer that like this, right? And then using this tool, I'm just gonna sort of push it down so that it doesn't move, okay? So I do that. And then I'm going to put the next layer on, so the glue at the bottom and I'm gonna put this petal on top like this okay so you can see the texture happening and it creates a really interesting look and I really really like it like that and so the next one put that on top as well like this and then in the middle, I am going to add, that's a little bit too big. I'm going to change it to pinky one, like that. So it's very simple, simple and very fun. Layering flowers is just really, really relaxing. And there is no right or wrong way of doing it. You just, look at things and if it makes you if it gives you joy you just do it i love this flower and then i'm gonna work with a darker tone now let's go with the blue color now this was a music paper this one i had i really like music papers but i didn't really like this pa pattern paper because the designer that was using this they didn't really consider how the music notes are supposed to be. They just copied and pasted in any form. And I didn't really like the direction that it was. It was like upside down and here and there. So that's why I cut that piece of paper. With this one, I'm going to add some of this color, this beautiful minty color. So I'm gonna go around my finger twice. One, two. And then just chop it and then I am going to put this there so just add some glue and then I'm going to pop that in the middle and just dab it like this so that it grabs the glue a bit now if there's a bit the end bit that's sticking out try to put that in the middle so push it down in the middle like that I mean, that already is very pretty itself. And then I'm going to add this, this piece on top, like this. And you can see a little bit of the sparkle yarn peeping out and that creates a really lovely look. And I really, really like that. And then this one, I will put that in the middle. No, I don't like that. I don't like the colors to be too similar when I am layering. I think I'm going to go with some white rose cabochons in the middle. Looks like I'm running out of glue stick too, so I'm going to have to quickly get it. So I'm going to put three of the rose cabochons, because these are nice and small. So it creates another interesting look. See? It's really pretty. So there's that one. Grab myself another glue stick. And then next one, I will do a pinky one. So with this one, I want to add some pink sparkle yarn. So go around my finger twice again. It's such a pretty look. 
I really, really love adding textures like this. It just makes me happy. Um, for peop a lot of people just like to simply glow it, but I like to add textures. It just makes me happy. And I just love, That's I think that's why I love eyelash trim so much. Like that. And then this one I didn't, I had a little um, accident. I didn't cover it well or the dye moved. But it doesn't matter because once you layer things, it still looks really nice. So I'm going to put that on top like this. Okay. Curl it. And then I'm going to put this one on top. Like this. So when you're layering flour too, just because it comes with five different layering dyes doesn't mean you have to use all of the five or six layering dyes to layer. You can skip um, some of them and then just do it like this. Like there would have been another layer I could have put underneath the tiny one, but I didn't and I so that I can create a different look. I don't want that one. I think I want to put a little one. A little uh, pearl in the middle. So make sure you don't burn your fingers. Quickly drop it and push. See? See how there's a little tiny um, bit of the sparkle yarn peeping out? And I really like that look. I'm going to do it with this one. And this one I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm going to just simply layer the flowers on top of each other without the sparkle yarn. And I'm going to put the sparkle yarn in at the very top this time. Okay, so I'm going to use this tiny bit. So just a little bit you need for this one because I'm going to cover the middle of it. So I'm going to put glue in the middle. And then I'm going to carefully place it in the middle and push it down with my silicone tool. this and then I am going to put something in the middle then I'm gonna use this and then push it on top so then I'm going to do this so then now you have another way of using the sparkle yarn and then it creates a lovely look in the middle as well. I love these so much. And then I am going to do this one. So this one I am just going to simply glue another pattern that's same on top. So you can use same pattern paper to do all the different layers if you want. But this is me. This is the way I like to do it, using different colors. And I'm going to use this yarn, this minty one, and I'm going to just do this. Put that there. And then add this on top, like this. And then I have this black tiny rose I think this was from a Prima marketing paper pack or oh, Prima marketing flower pack one of the I think it was Fleur de Fleur it might be and so here's another look it's really pretty I love layering these flowers so very much so I'm going to do this one now. This one is a nice foiled one. This one is actually a Kaiser Craft paper. And then I'm going to add the flamingo one on top like this. And then I will add the pink one on top. And then this one I'm going to also put the eyelash trim at the top. And I will use a white one. So when you're adding it on the top, you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot because you're just going to, um, it's just the filler for the middle part. So do that. And then place it in the middle. Just dab it like this. Okay, 
because you're going to put something on top anyway. This time, let's see. Which one am I going to use? This time I'm going to use this one. Ooh, just be careful not to burn your fingers. And just push it on top. Down like this. Oops, moving. Okay, so then you have this sort of look as well. And you just keep on going. And if you don't want to use the glue gun, then you can use these. So, for example, I probably use two for the biggest part. Just peel it off and then put the next layer on top. Now I am using this orange pat pattern paper because this bottom one has orange color in it. So that's why it goes nicely together. And then I'm thinking I am going to, am I going to do that? Actually, I don't want to do that. I think I'll go with the nice bright yellow. So using the foam tape, stick that in the middle. If you don't want to do the glue gun, you can do it like this. Okay. And then you can use a bling sticker. If you don't, if you're the person that really don't like using glue gun, use foam square tapes like this, foam dots, and then use uh, bling stickers. So for example, you can just grab one of these bling stickers and see what color will look nice. I don't like any of those colors, so I'm gonna choose something else. Let's see. No, don't like that either. No, <laughs> I'm fussy. I think I like this one, so I'm gonna go with this one. And it creates a nice finishing touch. See how I finished it, finished the top with the pearl because the base is white. So it goes really nicely like that. So that's how you layer flowers, everyone. There is no right or wrong way. You can choose to add anything in the middle. It doesn't have to be flat back pearls. Um, it can be rose cabochons. It can even be sequins. If you want to see me do the sequin, I'll quickly show you. I will show you how I do my sequins. Okay, so I'm gonna layer this on top like this. See, pink and black or gray, they always go nicely together. So I'm gonna, whoops, I just dropped it. And so I'm gonna glue that. Now, to, you can add diamond dust in the middle too but I will show you how I add sequins. Sure. I have this little bit of, this pink little tiny ones in here, so I'm gonna use that. So what I do is I just put, put a blob of glue in the middle, and then all I do is just drop it on top, like this. Just drop it on top, okay? and then just lightly touch it. And, and there. So you can do that too if you want to. See, it creates a really different look. So today I have layered my flowers using this Graphic 45 layering die, die set. And I have used these Crafter's Choice Sparkle Yarn and I have used the rose cabochon and this iridescent bling and layered these flowers. It's been really fun and I hope you get to layer some flowers too. Yes. These are the other ones that I did today and I also did these ones and there's these ones too. So grab your scrap papers, just die cut away, and then curl the petals, and then layer them using the glue gun or foam dots. And then just, I'm sure you have lots of bling stickers, right? Sequin stickers, anything, just decorate the middle.
Do whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.